Welcome to this new tutorial for Easel.js and accessing the canvas elements in HTML5. Okay, so this tutorial we're going to be taking a look at working with sprite sheets. And sprite sheets are a series of images that have been put together in one single sheet. So what we can see on the screen here is a character, and I'm going to use my cursor keys on the keyboard to let the character walk backwards and forwards, and this is what we're going to be creating in this tutorial. So first of all, we need to work out how to create the sprite sheet. And the way that we do that is quite simply by going to easeljs.com forward slash zoe.html. And what this is, is a little application written in the Ur framework. So you need to have Adobe Ur installed on your computer. And it will take animations that you've created in Flash and turn them into single sprite sheets. So excellent for character animation, that sort of thing, which would normally be quite difficult to do. So once you've got that down, you need to get that open and uh, installed on your computer. Next I'm going to flick over to Flash and in Flash I've got uh, a scene set up and I'm going to just take you through how to set up a scene ready to export to Zoe. And the first thing that we need to do is actually get our animation in. So we can see here that I've got my first bit of animation which is a walking cycle just towards the right and hence I've named it WK right. So that is as simple as adding a frame label, walk right. And each of those is an individual PNG image which has come in. <clears throat> Notice I don't have a walk left. That's because in Easel.js we have a flip function which is going to kind of duplicate the walk right and flip it over to the to the left. So we're going to have that already. So I've got a walk up and a walk down. So it all works quite nicely. So the next thing that we need to have is this little empty movie clip on the stage which has the instance name registration point. Simple as that. There's nothing to that at all. It's just a, a movie clip and it's just placed on the stage. There's nothing inside that movie clip. It's just simply there. Once we've done that, we obviously save what we've got and we publish it. So we can see our walk cycle just looping around there. Okay, and then now we just flick over to Zoe. And as well, I'm just going to open my finder and from here I can either browse for a Swift or just drag the Swift in. So what happened there was you probably sort of, sorry, very briefly there was a kind of uh, a taskbar that just kind of appeared for a second and we've split up the walk clip into um, into a kind of preview in here so when we click on the preview we can see it's playing all the frames back but we can actually just play walk right over and over again so we get a sense of how that's moving or the walk down or the walk up it's worked out the bounds and everything like that so it's all working nicely okay let's hold on with that we've also can look in here at the actual bounds itself so we can see that we we're losing four pixels over on that side which is quite nice because it's four less pixels for us to have to load in on every single frame and uh, finally we go to the export and this is the important part so export sprite sheet yeah we're going for the web that's that's cool and data export either json or easel.js we want easel.js because that's what we're working with so we click and we're now exporting and you can see appropriately files are appearing over here in my finder so it's telling me that they've all been exported. I've got a PNG file and I've got a JavaScript file. So close that. And inside here, there is my PNG. And there's my walk clip uh, JavaScript as well. Excellent. So we've got the data together now, now it's just a question of us actually putting that down and um, coding it up so that we've actually got it working when we press it with our cursor keys on the keyboard.